Um, all right, I'm going back to... <laughs> I know we've lost all three times with the Mountain Diana, but I am going back to it. Uh, both of these are, are slow decks that I, I really like my matchup with Mount Diana. I don't think we, we can't lose four in a row, right? <laughs> Both of those are, are very slow decks that I like my chances. You know, there, there always is a chance that Heimerdinger does defeat us, but that's, you know, that's like the only thing that I have to worry about is Heimerdinger. Keeping this combo where, of course, we'll be able to get rid of the dust, get something a lot better. Clad in shining sunlight. Lunari, rise. Yeah, it's true. There's supposed to be a lot of champions that get uh, balanced in the next patch. Could be a lot of buffing of champions. So yeah, we could see um, the meta shaking quite a bit. That's that's very true. All well, these are pretty decent. Yeah, I, I like all of them. I'm gonna take Bask in her radiant blessing. the challenger. We mustn't linger. So that gives them priority again, so they want to play Heimerdinger. We have the Warrior to answer Heimerdinger. Alright, so they are not playing Heimerdinger. Um, which I'm still going to play the Warrior. I don't really know exactly why those things aren't attacking. So the important thing about that is now they cannot have Bastion available with Heimerdinger next turn. So I can have, you know, I can have Vengeance. They can't have Heimerdinger and Bastion. So that's good. Just saving my mana. So we have 10 mana next turn if I save. Or we have 8 if I play Crescent Guardian. We'll save. This allows me to play this and Diana and Pale Cascade. Probably not playing Heimerdinger now with three mana. <sighs> That's too bad. It's too bad that would have been a good challenge. Got rid of a Sump Dredger as well. Back 
Black Heretic. We have nine mana, so I can play Diana and then still have Vengeance available. So I don't just waste all my mana. Alright, it's no Heimerdinger. I want to do the Cosmic Inspiration. Let's pass turn. See what they want to do. Bask in her radiant blessing. All right, so they want to do that. All right, well, I'm going to put some pressure on them then. Leave myself... Like, I don't have Vengeance for Heimerdinger right now. First time in a while. We're, they're going to have some pressure on him, at least. With an 11 power elusive, and then, you know, kind of planning on slamming this, slamming a Aurelian Soul, and just kind of turning. Um, changing gears here, I guess. Because we know they have six cards in hand. We know three of them are cards that they have invoked. So they have they have a lot of those. I tried being polite. That would have been really nice. That would have been really nice if the um, are they gonna then are they gonna have like double obliterate? That'd be sad. It'd been really nice if, if they didn't have that get excited and if my Diana could have killed that vine. That's pretty nice. That was gonna come really close to killing them. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya. So I'm finally casting this vengeance. Meteor shower has the potential to kill Heimerdinger also. Yeah, I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, been saving the unspeakable horror for Bastion, so I wouldn't really have to worry about Bastion. Silence any followers. Combined and open heart. Doesn't really seem like it. Ah, the sweet uh, smell of silence. Yuck. I don't know. This thing. I 
I'm going aggressive at my life total. I'm glad that I have, you know, this Nexus healing. That should do me some, do me some good. All right, so this costs four mana. I don't think they're gonna have seven more Nexus damage right now. Sunlight blinds while moonlight reveals. Can't quite play this yet. I'm doing this my way. All right, that's slightly annoying. Especially that thing's a ten-five. Why the five? Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. A young Rakor once gazed upon these stars. Puppy. Puppy on the Witness glory. Oh All right, heal the Nexus Five. Let's start there. You were misguided. Defiance is our way. Protector, shield me! It's too bad we can't play both Immortal Fires next turn, but at least, at least they did just use a Hush. Um, so that's, that's really good. They've used two Hushes so far. That's very good. Two hushes gone. Maybe I shouldn't have played that 5-3 and, and gone for Sunburst Immortal Fire. I guess now with them playing Solari Priestess here, I wish I would have not played the 5-3. Okay, because I thought they would they would find like an obliterate for my Immortal Fire. It's gonna be close. I am more myself than ever. Because if I play Immortal Fire and they have an answer for it, we are in a lot of trouble. Sunburst is the safer play, but doing Sunburst, like if they have, you know, if they have another champion, um, I guess we've already killed, let's see, if we Sunburst here, we will have killed, of course they could also just have Bastion, and then I'm in a lot of trouble. I think I just go with this and just force them to have some, some answer. I think this is my best play. I guess I could have led with the Duskbringer first and seen if they would have played something else. Yuck. I grabbed an Equinox. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's what I should... Why did I count this up? All right, great draw with the star shaping. Because I could have... I guess they had, the, they had the gem in hand, right? Okay, so never mind. All right, we're good, we're good. Everything's good. Sorry. Um, I was thinking that I could have played the dusk... That I could have, like, stunned these two and then attacked with the other things and forced the Vi to die in combat. But no, they would have just gemmed their Vi and that wouldn't have worked. So we're good. And I'm glad I didn't spend that mana now, because now I have the mana for this immortal thing plus star shaping. All right, everything worked. Everything worked. Alright, how could attacking go bad? Hush? Yeah. 
they just drew hush attack just attacking would go bad what if i play the immortal fire how could it go bad really not any way that i can think of so i think it's worth playing another They can't have the 9 mana, or I guess, yeah, they can't have the 9 mana obliterate too, so. Alright, over to 3 and 3. Uh, what do we got? Fiora, Shen, Fearsome Stuff, or Trundle, Aurelian Soul? Whoa! All right, well, we got to just play Tom Kench Lux because this is the first first opponent that's allowed us to play it. I was gonna, I was gonna play, I wasn't gonna play Mountain Diana this game, right? So like, I was, I was gonna do the the Swole Cat, and so I was thinking like, which which decks did I want Swole Cat to face? All right, yeah, Kench has been unbenched. I don't, that's not even a word, is it? Unbenched? But yeah. Tom Kench is loose. So yeah, this is definitely going to be an important Radiant Guardian matchup. Um, I'm, I'm seeing if we can draw Remembrance next turn. These dogs are growling. Evident. And we'll take it. Nope, we're blocking. What are you hiding? Yeah, to unlock the KDA cards is part of the um, the there's quests and the event. If you like, look at the main screen. There's like an event tab on the left hand side, towards the bottom. dogs i don't know why they're why they're doing this but um certain certain kda cards unlock after you get a certain number of like hearts for the event there's nothing to fear all right i'm gonna try doing no could see that's a summon ability all right i guess it turns into a five two because i kind of want my tom kench to die right so then i could get to play radiant guardian Maybe I should have just gone Remembrance here. Maybe I should have just done that. Come on in. All right, we're gonna just do this Remembrance. Oh, I'm sorry, you asked did I unlock the KDA cards, not how do you unlock the KDA cards? My bad. Um, the answer is no, I've not unlocked all of them yet, no. I'm sorry, I've been distracted here by, by these dogs. I guess I should have blocked the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I guess I should have blocked the 1-1. One, one. Okay, what am I doing? We're going to play Lux this turn, or we're going to go Acquire Taste the 1-1 one, one to make it 2. Let the light guide you. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm sure there's something for me. <laughs> no, I didn't go hurt. No, the dogs are just they're just in my room now, just laying down in there. They have their own beds in there and stuff too, so I just put them in there and close the door. Uh, 
I wish I was paying attention this whole time with this game. It's I can't blame anybody but me. Magic corrupts Demacia from within. Your Demacia is nothing like what I know. Okay, let's see. I have... I can stay alive. I have basically only one play to stay alive. I should probably kill... Let's see, so I can... I'm gonna have to Prismatic Barrier. Um, one of these, it doesn't really matter which which thing. So like, we'll Prismatic Barrier like this thing. You. And then single combat. Fight. Which, I guess I could have just done this with detaining, couldn't I? Yeah, I guess detaining would have done the same thing. You look guilty. Maybe I should have detained instead of this to be able to keep single combat a lot around. If they would have attacked this in the other order, we would have been dead, because that Mist Wraith would have grown. Well, I guess I, I took out both the Mist Wraiths. I'll do it. My plan, my plan here was to. I wasn't planning on letting Lux die. I was planning on going Prismatic Barrier on the Lux, kill this two two, get a final spark, final spark something, and then you'll play like Vanguard Cavalry. Like that was my plan. My plan wasn't Radiant Guardian here. I don't. I don't think we had the ability to. I. I don't know. I feel like I could have maybe done more. I'm sorry. I was getting. I was really distracted by the dogs barking and growling so much. Or like we are playing five decks. Um. Do I want to face? Ash, Fiora, Braum. I don't think my opponent's choosing this one. So it's probably Ash, Fiora, Braum. And we'll play that with... Swolecat? No, Tom Kench Lux. We have Detains, we have... Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit should be great here. Detains should be very good. So, good hand. Uh, question was, has people, has people been tryharding? I, I guess, people haven't been giving us any wins. We've played seven really close games for the most part. Like, um, the ones that we've won have been real close. The ones that we've been losing have been really close. These have been very long, stressful games. Because, yeah, it's been, in, you know, over an hour, 45 minutes for seven games. So, yeah, it's been, these have been very long and stressful games. All right, lead in with Remembrance. Because they do have another attack. Yeah, we did play against an opponent that had five champions. And we played against... Timer, Vi with Targon. There's always room for supper. So the fearsome twice, Sedwani Swain, Heimer Vi. The five champion opponent. Yeah. 
Let us peruse this establishment's fair. So mostly just worried about Fiora. Well, these things are going to kill us. And I probably want to get rid of these one health things that are very easy for Fiora to kill. We're drawing a whole lot of units. Really what I want is just, I want more detains. And I want Unyielding Spirit. Especially Unyielding Spirit. It's the card I want the most. Virtue guides me. What kind of... Um, what kind of problems have you had, Spirit? You said you haven't been able to queue into opponents during the gauntlet changes? That's definitely feels bad. You have some kind of bug going on there? Like, that doesn't let you queue into people? Go. Yeah, it's true. We played against Draven Darius. No, with Targon. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. Sends chills up my Oh, I don't require the menu. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Have you tried okay, so yeah, you have some kind of weird problem there, Spirit. Have you tried just uninstalling it and reinstalling it? From what I've heard from people with just various, like, random, like, weird problems. Winter is the you know, like, uninstalling, cruel. reinstalling usually fixes everything. And I honestly, I think this is perfectly fine. I, they put two Enraged Yetis into their deck, but I, I am happy with them drawing Enraged Yeti. You know, like, they don't have very many cards, and so just one mana 5-5. Five, five. Again, like, just the generic 5-5 five, is not going to defeat us. Well, a will. Generic there's units aren't going to defeat us. Pretty sure we're winning this and going to 4 and 4. Man, that, With me. that's weird. I'm sorry there, Spear. I'm sorry about that. Okay, Genevieve Elmhart. That one could be a problem. I'm just going to do this. And try to detain. There is no shelter. Man, not, not with that kind of attitude, there's not. Ice runs in our veins. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Got your back. Bring them home safely. Because detaining does count as, you know, does count as capturing towards leveling up Tom Kench. Chomp. I've been hiding my life too long. And now Lux Final Spark. We can still have, ma so we can have mana for detain and level up Tom Kench basically at any point. I could play all this other stuff. I kind of want to just keep Detain available. I don't think that there's any rush for me to be playing stuff. My aim is true. Okay. Your aim is true. I hear you. Faster than my arrows? I think not. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need. I'll go this route. Still keeping barrier to to protect Stand Tom Kench. Shut. You have no alibi. Two mana removal for Ash, not bad. So we know that they have, we know their top card oh, is going to be like that two mana frostbite, all the stuff card. Okay. Yeah, can anybody in chat help out Pfefford there? Excuse my impertinence. Oh. Alright, leveled up Tom Kench. I 
animation's pretty slow. They would fall by my blade. Ooh. Now we're talking. So I'm planning on detain. Yeah, I guess I just do that right away. Won't give me the final spark, but no, no, if they'll have another unit to actually final spark. All right, we'll just go right to attacks. Obliterate the Fiora. They're down to four. By my honor, you must die. Hmm. All right, I was just gonna play Remembrance and get the final spark and final spark Fiora. That was my plan. Alright, what do we got? We got Nautilus. So we got Deep. I don't really want to play against Deep. It was either Deep or this one. I wasn't going to do the Yasuo one. Alright, so those two. I'm going to play... We're going to go over to Swole Cat. Against those. And we'll just have an Ionia Mirror. Ionia Noxus versus Ionia Targon. Let's go Swole Cat. Pulling Strike can take down Leona, potentially. Um, I think I'm just keeping all of these. I definitely like Flower Child, Lulu. Do we need a second Flower Child? I'm not sure. I could see Mulligan getting the second Flower Child. Yeah, we'll just do that. Cool. I like Glory Seeker. We will seek some glory. All right, so I... Oh, they're not attacking with Green Glade Lookout. They could go, like, Pale Cascade. Yes, we're going. Face me. That'd be my worst-case scenario, or just something like that. Okay, there's... Like, sure, we'll take a... You know, four mana... Four mana spell to keep that thing alive. That's a good trade. So something over there is going to cost less. Green Glade Lookout. I go where the road takes me. The balance requires a watchful eye. Some things never dull. I will skip my block. Ow. We are going to go Shen on that. Uh, you go over here. We can only play one spell, not two. So yeah, I kind of expected that. And now we Whirling Death. Which, I guess I could... No, it should probably be the same one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if they haven't... Okay, so basically, I could go over here and do this, but then they could use another Steel Tempest and stun this, and then it's not battling anymore, so then I don't think my Whirling Death happens. If I do it on this, and they do another Steel Tempest, my Whirling Death doesn't happen, so their Yasuo stays alive, but then I think this one would get shuffled back into their deck, because then... It wouldn't be stuck. There's, it's not an attacking enemy anymore. I think. I don't know. We'll kind of have to see. Okay, or or this just happened. Cool. So Yasuo was not the most expensive thing in their hand because they, you know, like they did strike with the Green Glade Lookout earlier, and it did not reduce the cost of the Yasuo. So there is something in their hand that is more expensive than four mana Yasuo. Take the high ground. 
Uh, I know I could play the help picks, but if I play help picks, I don't have cooling strike up. I don't know if I need cooling strike up. Stay hidden. Right, they only have one mana. We're gonna cooling strike that while we can. Swole Squirrel. I want to play Swole Squirrel first, but it's just not worth it because it's likely they have like Yone. Um, so we're going to. <sighs> How are we going to do this? Um, you can support you who supports. No. You support you who supports. You who supports you. And then we just have the Glory Seeker chilling over here. It's like, I feel like they're going to want to stun the Glory Seeker anyway. So I have three lethal attackers right now. The Might on the Kato, that would be 8 minus 3 is 5, so no, that wouldn't be lethal. So we have... Oh, wait, no, no, Shen's not lethal. I mean, so we're going to have to Might Shen. There, so there we go. That will make Shen lethal, and then Flower Child, and then also with Glory Seeker. Okay, that's not going to... It's not going to save him too much. All right, we'll just let that happen. Could Whimsy... Just let this happen. All right. You fought with honor. These are some. These are some decks right here. These are some decks. We're gonna ban the Nebia Trindamir. I don't want to deal with that. I like my Swole Cat matchup against either of these two. And I'm assuming they're not banning Swole Cat. Nobody bans Swole Cat. Swole Cat. Do do do. Swole Cat. Do 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 do. Now the middle one's gonna be a bunch of elusives. That one, like if we don't have challengers, like you know, we could get outraced by elusives, right? Like that that could definitely happen. Oh yeah, let me go get the dogs. All right, playing against some elusives. Let's look for some support. I like the challengers. I like the calling strike. We need some support now. Any support? Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. Oh, that's rude. Guess we're going. So, you know, like Young Witch, so pretty. Lulu, Shen. I want one of those cards. Victory requires a sharp blade. Hmm. We did not get those cards. At least they didn't use two. Oh yeah, Legion Drummer. That card's great. There we go. Found a support card. Never lost a fair game or played one. Twist of Fate so good. Something for all. Maybe I just shouldn't play Glory Seeker yet. Especially because they could have another Twisted Fate red card. That would be problematic. Let's get our support on. Don't go Twisted Fate, please. Oh boy, here I go. It's not Twisted Fate, at least. I could, I could stand united and keep both of these alive through Twisted Fate. Yes, Soul Squirrel. A real threat. You passing to me? Yeah, I think I'll just take the pass. 
Gives me six mana still to go along with Swole Squirrel now. Hmm. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. I guess Shen does great at, you know, like where you can level up Shen pretty quickly with these Stand Uniteds. Yeah, that is true. One one opponent did ban Swole, Swole Cat once. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Please, no Twisted Fate. They haven't played Twisted Fate the last couple of turns. Yay. Show them the might of Noxus. You're mine. Your attack is obvious. I think I'm just going to let the Legion Drummer die over casting Whirling Death and getting blown out by something. Which, why am I, I don't know why I'm not just attacking the Flower Child. I'd rather the Flower Child trade there than the, yeah, I should have just been attacking with the Flower Child too. All right, Lulu, we've supported two times. Two times. Keeping Stand United available for right now. Okay, now they're just at three mana. All right, gonna play the squirrel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what my opponent's doing, but I feel like we're winning. But I also don't really know what they're doing. All right, Lulu will level up. Um, nice. Pump that thing back up to like five health. All right, do it. All right, fine. The King Koo go where they are needed. Wait, no, no, no! I need to target the thing up. No, 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 no! Stadium Knight's really weird with how you have to target them. You would think you would want the you target your first one, which would get the barrier first, and then the second one would get the barrier second, but that's not the way. I have to target this one to get the barrier second, and then this one to get the barrier. F or no, no, this one to get the barrier for. Or I don't know. It's really weird with the three out of four stand united. It's really weird. I want I want the the swole scroll to get the barrier after Shen levels up, but I think I have to target it first. It's really weird how it works. And sorry, I ran out of time because we were talking about, like, should I go for it or not? So I just ran out of time. Because um, I, I I, think I have to click the Swole Squirrel first and then the Lulu second. It's really weird. But I think we'll be just fine. Our wills align. I don't expect they're going to do 17 damage to me before we attack next turn, and my attack next turn is definitely killing them. I guess it, if they play three more units, and so they have six units and I have six units, it won't necessarily kill them, because I don't have any overwhelm. So I guess they, they get two more blockers. They're not necessarily dead. So they have three of my cards? Four of my cards? Did they play Pilfer Goods in here? Yeah, so they have four cards in mine. Alright, so not necessarily dead. Um, all like all of their things are gonna die. Alright, we'll barrier you. You can barrier uh, you. Who pumps up you? And then y'all can just attack. All right, uh, you can just challenge. Old Fizzle. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just challenged the elusive, and now they don't have an elusive to block that thing. Right. Unless they just play a burst speed spell. Um, yeah, so I, I should have gave I should have gave the Fizz vulnerable instead of giving this barrier. I should have just gave the Fizz vulnerable challenge the Fizz over here, too, so that for sure Lulu gets through. But then they just they can stun and things like that, too. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm challenging the... Oh, right, this thing is just vulnerable as is. So I could just challenge the Fizz and then grab this thing. Right, right, right. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of silly. Man, I'm going to lose this, aren't I? No, I mean, they would stun, so, like, it wouldn't have been lethal. Like, because, you know, like, they... It was done. Let them see me, not you. No, the stun card doesn't switch spots. So stand, stand United wouldn't have been lethal. They'll keep, they'll stun whatever is in, like, that, that lane. You know, we have, like, our six lanes attacking. So no matter what I put there, it was going to get stunned. I could have changed the target for the stun. Basically, we can just, like, wipe out their, their board every single turn. <clears throat> Continually. We saw they took the Swole Squirrel also. So I think that's all of my cards, right? I think they took four. Okay, never mind. Flower Child. Where did you get that? Well, actually, that might have just been their own Flower Child, I guess. That could have just been theirs. Don't they need to do the mites? Yeah, they need to do, like, the mites afterwards. It would have been, like, eight, but then they could have done the plus plus. Whirling death. Well, no, I mean they're not going to kill me. The king could go where they are needed. If I had one more mana, we you know could have whirling death here too, but that's fine. So that means we're playing exactly eleven games. We win it. We get prime glory. We lose it. We are eliminated. There's our last YouTube video with it, I think, or at least a YouTube video with it. Ezreal Lux? How scared should I be of Ezreal Lux? I'm not sure which one of these two I want to ban. All right, Swolcat, let's see what you got. Ezreal Lux. So we'll see if this was the right decision or if I should have banned this and played against Twisted Fate Jinx. Twisted Fate Jinx can just do some, like, crazy stuff. Um, crazy fast. Now, I love Glory Seeker's Young Witch. I guess the, the problem is, is they're definitely, being an Ezreal deck, they're going to be playing the, the four mana thing that does one damage to two different things. So that's really annoying here. Um, 
With that being said, I'm not mulliganing anything. Cool. We march as one. Legion Drummer is just an upgrade over the Young Witch because it doesn't die. Happy to do whatever. For that kind of stuff. Um, Glory Seeker, Glory Seeker is just too important at like fighting like something they grab from Remembrance. Um, oh, this is annoying. I guess I have to block with Young Witch. This isn't going too good for me right now. No spells still. I need to use some kind of protection spell or some kind of trick. Some kind of combat trick. And draw a single one. That's not good. Yeah, I could really use a combat trick here. I was hoping that they would use like their removal right now. Show them the might of your mind. <clears throat> Safety first. And they had Static Shock. Keep formation. I'm on it. Watch and Looks learn. like a loss. Not a single... Not a single spell. I even have like a bunch of culling strikes in here. All right, we finally got a spell. It costs six mana, so that means, um, you know, I don't get to do anything else cool first. Face me. I give you muscles. Where are you going? <laughs> Barrier. It could have been just like another removal spell. There. This has not worked out. Cooling strike? Yeah! Okay, we could be back in this. Maybe a good cooling strike here. Alright, I guess good news, you know, bad news, I'm at three. Good news is... Good news they don't get anything to do with this free Mystic Shot now. The balance requires a watchful eye. My shield is yours! You. Man, bad game right there. That was a bad game. They had they had like the perfect card, every, you know, like every time that prismatic barrier, just the back to back. Man, yeah, they pulled off some some crazy stuff and just one like trick earlier from me would have been really good at a transfusion or a culling strike early you know something like that but all right it's so the same thing that happened last week we got to the final the final one and lost the final game and there we go there goes our our chance there of prime glory i probably should have known that we had been doing too good with um We've been doing too good with the Swole Cat, right? Like, we were 4 0. We were due for a loss. So, we should have switched over 
uh, you know, to our other deck because, you know, winning five in a row is pretty tough. Yep, sometimes luck just runs out. All right. Um, but there we go. So there's our standard gauntlet pick and ban. Um, fun, kind of fun format. Yeah, kind of fun format. Pretty, you know, kind of stressful and everything there too, but, um, yeah. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. How are you doing in this, uh, format? How do you like this format? Um, you know, anything else? Uh, you do get extra XP whenever you're playing the gauntlet. Like, we did get, like, the bonus XP for that, so that's cool. Um, but, yeah, we're definitely going to have to split this into two uh, videos. That was almost two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we'll definitely have to split that up. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching some standard gauntlet pick and ban, and I'll see you for the next video.